Hi, I'm Amin. a Moroccan software engineer student at LeNPT, and today I'd like to talk about my experience at the MCG DG Hackathon, sharing with you what I've learned and what I built. Hope you like this video and let's start. The story began when I was scrolling through LinkedIn and came across a post about this hackathon. At first, I hesitated, thinking it might just be a waste of time, but then something clicked and I thought, why not? Let's give it a try. I'm not gonna lose something if I participated. Then I filled out the form, and luckily I got accepted. And now you might be wondering, what is a hackathon? Basically a hackathon is an event where different teams solve problems and come up with practical solutions. You also get the chance to network and meet people who share the same interests as you. And also there are prizes for the winners. If you are curious more about what is a hackathon, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to a video by an amazing guy called Kaito, where he explains everything you need about Hackathon. When I entered the Hackathon, the organizers gave me and my team our badges, notebooks, some pens and some stickers of GDG. And now you might be asking, what is GDG? That's exactly how our Hackathon started, with the organizers explaining what is GDG. GDG or Google Developer Groups is like a tech club usually found in universities. It brings together people who are passionate about technology and gives them the chance to connect, learn and sometimes free access to Google services and certificates. The main idea of this hackathon was that yes, we all study AI and machine learning, but just knowing about those tools isn't enough. We need to actually build real-world solutions using those tools, because that's what engineering is all about. With that mindset, the hackathon began, and it kicked off with inspiring speeches from amazing people like Maryam Neri, a generative AI engineer. In her speech, she talked about the state of generative AI in Morocco. And what really caught my attention was her roadmap to becoming a generative AI developer. Since there's no official measure for it yet here in Morocco, the path she suggested starts with becoming a full-stack developer first, then diving into AI, machine learning, and large language model, so that you can have deeper understanding about AI and you can use it in your application. Also, she mentioned something new to me, and that is LLMOps and MLOps. So basically, what MLOps is like DevOps, but for machine learning, it focuses on how to manage and deploy ML models efficiently, and LLMOps is kinda similar but more specific to large language model, making sure they are scalable, updated and safe in production environments. She also talked about something called prompt engineering. Prompt engineering is basically making an effective inputs or prompts to get the best possible response from AI model like ChatGPT. Instead of coding a solution directly, you are guiding the AI using natural language. So knowing how to ask the right question becomes a real skill in our generation. And what I really liked in her speech is that we can't ignore or deny the rise of AI no more. People often say AI will take away many jobs, and they are right. But what I saw is that it will also create new ones, like MLOps and LLMOps. Those two roles didn't even exist a few years ago. And then with another speech from Murad, a DevOps expert, he gave a powerful talk about why students should participate in hackathons. He said that a hackathon is like building a startup in less than 48 hours. And he's right, you learn a lot and you learn fast, because you are learning by doing, something that all students should do. And speaking from my experience, I learned a lot in this hackathon. I learned a lot while working on my project for this hackathon. All those intense hours of building was worth it more than just studying the theory. You also get the chance to grow your network by talking to experts and asking questions because every conversation can teach you something new. Plus hackathons can really boost your career. Just imagine when recruiters see that you have participated in many events and hackathons and you worked on real world problems. It shows that you are passionate about technology and AI. Then we had an eye opening talk from Sohaib Susi, a tech entrepreneur, about the role of AI in business. He started by asking, do you want to become a CEO? He explained that many people want to start their own business just for the title, to be called a CEO. Uh, who wants to be the CEO of the company? Okay. So, can you be the CEO of the company? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why? 
But what really matters is the impact, and that comes not just from building alone, but from collaborating. Because by working together, businesses can grow faster and reach a wider audience. He also emphasized that AI has now become essential in modern businesses, not just a bonus or luxury, or just to say I added an AI to my business, but a core tool for innovation and scalability. There were so many great speakers that I can't mention them all, or else this video would be too long. But one talk that really opened my eyes was by Mohamed Sambouli. He said, we all make projects for our studies for fun or for other reasons. And that's what exactly I do all the time. But what I always tend to neglect is deploying those projects. And Muhammad pointed out that deploying is actually the most important part and it's a must for a software engineer to learn how to deploy their app. Because recruiters love seeing candidates who can not only build but also deploy their project effectively. He also shared some great insights on MLOps which was super relevant for the hackathon we were at. Then we took a lunch break, we got back to work and started presenting our project which we called Tariq or road in our dialect Darija. Basically what Tariq is, is a real-time distributed system that use machine learning to predict traffic congestion level. We aim to create a solution that could help manage traffic more efficiently and give real-time insights into road condition. I'll be sharing more about the process of, of building this project in my YouTube channel, so make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. In the end, we didn't win this hackathon, but if we look deeper, I'd say this hackathon was a valuable opportunity for me, because in this hackathon, I managed to build a real-world solution and to create a prototype of my project. I learned a lot from the speeches, like the state of generative AI, and what MLOps and LLMOps are all about. Plus, we received certificates of participation. And trust me, this won't be my last hackathon. It's just the beginning. Finally, let me know if you enjoy this type of videos and share your own hackathon experience in the comments. And in the end, I'm gonna just say, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Slam up!